Hey everyone, um, I've had quite a few questions over the last month about how um, I've been navigating the markets. There's been a lot of uncertainty with you know various events going on around the world, conflicts in the Middle East, Russia, Ukraine, uh, interest rates, CPI, all sorts of stuff like that. We can't pinpoint exactly you know what is causing market uncertainty, but you know there's a broad spectrum of things going on at the moment. Um, so I wanted to record a quick video just to you know share a little bit of transparency actually now please forgive me the i've had to drop the resolution down because on instagram i can only share uh, files up to 25 megabytes so just a really quick breakdown of this week for you i i currently am at break even i've taken one winner two losses and one break even so the first trade was a winner for me on monday during the new york session simple sweep of the uh, London high PY mitigation and then trading the retracement from that uh, just want to stress that that's not the entire uh, description of how the strategy works but it's just an overview of what that trade was so that was a one to two very nice target as you can see it did go on further down but we don't uh, need to try and squeeze more out of the markets because quite often after we hit a one to two more often than not it will push back the other way so we're not concerned about this further drop um, down there the next trade that I took was on Wednesday and this one was a break even it was a very similar uh, reasoning for the previous trade so yeah taking the London high POI mitigation trading the shifting market structure or change of character if you want to call it that um, came close to TP and eventually we had so one of the rules are is at six o'clock UK time stop loss is put to break even if we are in profit so this one was a break even for that reason and then just this morning I then took a loss again on UK 100 all right um very close to stop loss initially uh very close to tp um and later on and then eventually it did trigger the stop loss so you're probably going to ask me why don't you set stop loss to break even you know if we get this far ahead and quite simply the only reason is is because um we don't want to be managing the trades or sitting in front of the tra uh, charts for too long during the day monitoring if price is doing one thing or the other when i enter a trade i already accept the risk that if price goes against me up to here i'm accepting that i'm going to make a loss so i'm fine with that i have a lot of data to back up that you know my edge plays out over a longer period of time i'm not looking at the short term goal of oh this week i need to make x amount long term i know that this strategy is profitable and i've already profited from this the other trade that I took as well was uh, Wednesday this week for EURUSD. This one was a loss. It fit the rules perfectly. It was a really nice setup. It was just unfortunately it went against us. Um, so yeah, this one here was also a loss. Now if I just switch over to FX Replay, this is where you can see all the data I've collected for this strategy. Now this is only a small portion of the data that I have. I've got an entire year here back tested for UK 100 alone now as you can see there are periods of time where there won't be a trade set up you know and this is fine we can wait for you know maybe a week or even a couple of days until a trade setup is valid now if you don't have data like this I strongly encourage you to collect at least minimum a year's worth of data because that way you can see how your strategy performs in q1 q2 q3 and also q4 when we have the holiday period as well so if you're looking at the short term period and thinking oh actually with this uh, couple of weeks just here for example you know we had no trades and then we had what uh, one two three four five losses in a row and then we had these three trades completely cancel out those losses plus these wins prior okay you're missing out on a lot of valuable information so this month here is may for example and you can see eventually if we go back up to may here we can see it was still a profitable month even though we did have a difficult uh couple of weeks just around the middle so i wanted to share this for transparency's sake i wanted to sort of share that you know it's very much worth collecting as much data as you can for your edge if you are interested in trying to learn the drs strategy you can do so to you know drop me a message and feel free to reach out this isn't a sales pitch this is more of a um an, an eye opener for most people that are only looking at the short term and not looking at the long term so if you have any questions about you know you know, collecting data or back testing or even just your strategy in general feel free to reach out 